Some cars feel like they could be celebrating their 30th anniversaries, even though they actually are brand new. The Isuzu MUX is just such a car, but I'll leave it to the team to explain. The Isuzu MUX, a relatively new nameplate in South Africa. It was only launched in 2018, but of course if you look closely you will see that it is in fact based on the old Chevrolet Trailblazer. When you look at the seven-seater SUV segment, it is quite saturated. You've got Toyota Fortuna, Ford Everest, Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, and now you've got Haval H9. So does the Isuzu MUX actually stand a chance? In terms of the looks, yes, it is a bit old-fashioned if you compare it to something like the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport, which is really futuristic and modern. What they've thrown on the car that has given it that much more appeal and attractiveness is the chrome, quite a bit of it actually. There are some aspects, however, in which it is just clearly outdated. And the most noticeable of these is the powertrain. The engine is extremely noisy. If you can't remember what a diesel engine from 15 years ago sounded like, get into an Isuzu MUX and you'll be reminded. Under the bonnet you have a 3 litre turbo diesel unit producing 130 kilowatts and 380 newton meters. And the brake towing capacity of the MUX is 3000 kilograms. And while progress is slow, you can definitely feel that torque is more than capable of carrying 3000 kilograms. The drive could have been better. I feel like the car could have been a bit more decisive bit more punchy, I do feel the engine does let the car down. The steering feels very hard to maneuver and very um, labor intensive. I'm not sure if any power steering um, was fitted into that. One thing for sure, it really does feel quite solid on the road. It feels very robust on the road, which is quite nice. The interior is quite simple, not much has been done to it. And I think for a semi-luxurious SUV, Perhaps we wanted some nicer touches inside. Interior for me feels quite outdated really. What is a saving grace in that interior is that infotainment system. It actually is quite good. What a pleasing and easy to use infotainment screen. Really nice seats, beautifully upholstered. And then of course you have the versatility of seven seats, the third row folding flat into the floor. In terms of specification, well, it's neither here nor there. Some notable items that are missing is reach adjustment on the steering wheel, auto headlights, auto windscreen wipers, and a stop-start technology. To me, at this price point, that is a must, and that is a real sore point for this Isuzu. If you ask me, the MUX's biggest problem is price. At 638,000 for this 4x4 version that we have, it really isn't cheap. For Isuzu buyers and loyalists, this car will be just great for them, but I think it will struggle with getting buyers from, say, the Toyotas and the Pajeros. As a town car, the Isuzu MUX really is not that great. Um, but if you're looking for a rough and rugged type of car that can also cater for the family, then maybe give this Isuzu MUX a look.